Well, boys and girls, I got this five by 10 platform here I built. I think you guys saw it in the sawmill video here not too long ago. It's made out of two by sixes and two by fours there, five by 10 foot long. I got a little bit of lumber already stacked on it, but here on the corners right here, I'm gonna put some posts up like two by fours and stuff and make rafters up, come up about eight feet or so and make some rafters on it and put a roof on it. But uh, so I need, it's 10 feet long. I'm gonna need 11 foot strip boards to put on there to put some tin on. And here I've got a five foot log also. I'm gonna make some stickers out of because it's five foot wide. It'll make some stickers to go between my lumber when I saw it. And uh, I've only got one 11 foot log right now and it's kind of ugly. I'll have to take the chainsaw and cut this bottom big knob right here off of it. And these branches up here. And once we get them cut off, maybe I can get enough uh, boards or so. I don't know, it's eight or nine inch log on one end, nine inch maybe, and probably 15 or 16 on this end. But I don't know if I'll be able to get some boards there to put, use to put down for, need them like, I don't know, three quarter inch by three and a half inch boards to put on there to put the tin to on my rafters. So we're going to try to saw this five footer up though into some stickers and get this 11 footer cut into some boards here today maybe so maybe we'll try to get the video of that here for you and you can see how we do this well we got this five footer all put on we got the things here to hold it back here we shove it you shove this log back against these here make sure it's tight on both ends and then we got the log dog over here screwed in it which holds it back against that so now I can Take and cut the take the saw, lower it down, and take a cut across here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we got it all set up. Let's take a cut on this log. See what we got here. I'll show you here the way we turn this is a can hook. This one here digs in the log right here. Gotta shove it back against the stops there and tighten up the log dogs. Okay, boys and girls, we got another one set up here, ready to take another cut on it.
Okay, I'll show you what we got here. See, we got one side cut off here straight, and this is parallel with her 90 degree angle to this side. Okay, we still got bark here. We could have could have took it on down to here and wouldn't have any bark. But I'm only trying to get uh, inch and a half wide strips out of this. So I'll go ahead and cut these here down an inch and a half after I get the whole corner, the whole thing squared up. I get all four corners squared up. Then I'll cut inch and a half boards off of it. And uh, we get the little strips out of here. So in the middle here, I'll still get three or four pieces here, but these will be thrown away here. But if I go clear down here, then I'm losing the depth of what, three or four inches here of the boards in the center that I would get out of it for what I'm needing. I don't need, even if you needed a four inch wide board right here, see, you could cut that out of the center. So that's what we're doing here. So we'll square it on up the other two corners and then we'll show you what we got. Okay, boys and girls, let me show you what we got. We got a cant here, they call it. It's a square, okay? And I don't know the length on it. Let me see what the width is on this. We'll go, we got about a 12 and a half inch board, or 12 and a half one way and right at one foot the other way. So what we'll do, I'll start right here. I want my sticks to be like inch and a quarter by three quarter. So I'll take an inch and a quarter off of here right here then I'll move down and get another inch and a quarter inch and a quarter inch and a quarter till I get to the bottom then we'll take each one of those boards and turn them straight up this way and put them against this backing and then I'll rip them this way three quarters of an inch so we'll have inch and a quarter by three quarter inch sticks okay and any of these that come off here on the corner that's no good we'll just scrap them off but we'll still get some good ones out of here in the middle see all the way down so that's what i was telling you earlier so we'll do a few of them and show you what we end up with okay okay i'll show you how we do this the last cut see the blades are even with the top of the log so now up here i have a measure gauge up here it says one inch so what we'll do i want to cut it an inch and a quarter thick so what we'll do is bring this down. Let me get the stops unlocked. Now we'll go down to two. One quarter. So from the inch to two and a quarter is one and a quarter inches. So now our blade is down here. See, we got an inch and a quarter there. We're going to cut off a board. So we'll do that all the way to the bottom. Then we'll stack these, turn these the other way, just like that. Okay, and we'll cut them three quarters of an inch all the way to the bottom the same way. And we should have a bunch of five foot sticks. And that's to go in between our lumber over here so it air dries between it. If you stack it all together, it'll get rot and mildew and mold on it. And, and uh, the air can't get to it so it can't dry proper. And then we built the log platform over there. It's perfectly level. Because if it's not level and straight, you're, that's the way your boards will dry and get all warped and everything. So that's what we're going to do with this log right here now. We're going to finish this up and uh, we'll show you what we got. Okay, boys and girls, I've got it ready to cut the... I'm going to cut them inch and a quarter, I've decided. Just do an inch and a half there, I was thinking maybe, but inch and a quarter would be enough. And you have to drop these stops here down low enough that you don't come across here and hit them with your blade. Because if you hit them with your blade, you just ruin a blade. So I got them knocked down. I'll take a couple three cuts here, whatever I can get down to my log dog here, but then I'll have to drop it down lower too. So I'll put you in time lapse here. Maybe you can watch and uh, see what I do here. Okay, boys and girls, I ended up with uh, one, two, three, six, looks like six inch and a quarter boards, and they're probably the 12 inch wide or right at it.
and I've got a three inch piece there I could have made a couple more out of but it gets close down to the log dog there and I didn't want to pull around and hit it so that's not important I can use that for some piece there for something else so I'll take it off the mill we'll turn these up see how that one's setting up and down that way we'll turn all these up there and shove them in there against the log dog tight and then we'll cut uh, three quarters of an inch off of them and see if we can get some sticks out of them Okay, we took three or four cuts off of there, and now we see we got a bunch of sticks. But here's the ones I was telling you about, the ones that has the bark on them. See, I can just throw that away. But I still got the ones that was in the center, see? I didn't lose a bunch that way. I only lost one on the edges. See, there's a whole cut, you know? So now we got those. We got all these already. And uh, we can still keep cutting this down every three quarters of an inch, and we'll have a lot of sticks. So that's how we do it. And... Uh, the old Harbor Freight Sawmill is working pretty good so far, and uh, we're learning a little bit more all the time. But that'll give us some sticks to go over there on that lumber rack, and we'll show you some more about cutting up the 11-foot boards for it. It'll be the same way, except we'll make 11-foot long boards and a little wider, and probably about the same thickness, but they'll be a little bit wider, like three inch, three, about two of these probably. Boards about that wide, and uh, like that right there. And 11 feet long that way we can put them on the top of the roof and put the tin to it so we have something nail the tin to so that's how you make a cant and you make stickers to go in your lumber you could do the same thing with your making a board or whatever but it's working well so you guys 
thanks for watching the video and we appreciate it and if you will subscribe after you watch and uh, sure helps the channel out it costs you nothing it's all free and uh, comment if you will let me know what you think thanks for watching again well in addition to the video i ended up with 65 of the stickers for the lumber pile and i got eight five foot two by fours or one and a half by fours i might use them for a floor in a hunting hut here in the future so i think i got enough stickers and we end up with a few bad ones there see that's all we end up with the bad after we got the bark off of them and stuff and uh, the slabs there i'll burn in my outdoor furnace